Think Again TV is produced by Centre for Inquiry, Canada's premier venue for secular humanists, atheists, skeptics, and free thinkers. Formerly the Atheist Community of Toronto, but we are now affiliated with CFI and working with them under what's called the Think Again TV project, which encompasses mm -hmm. a bunch of different multimedia films. And ours is a part of it. And with me right now is Justin Trache, the director of CFI Ontario. And do you just want to run over a few things? How, how about we try this approach? What do you believe in and why do you believe it? Oh, I believe in God. Okay, and, and, and why? Well, because I know that God exists. Are you still there? And can you prove that he doesn't? Okay, hold on. Before we get to that, Kennard, uh, you said that you know that God exists. How do you know that God exists? What, what exactly... How exactly did you go about finding out this information? Well, how did you go about finding out that he doesn't? It's not my responsibility to find out. I'm, I'm the one rejecting your claim that a God exists. It's not my job to make up a God and then define it and then prove that it doesn't exist. That is completely asinine. That's like me saying, well, Bigfoot is seven foot four and, he, and he's blue and I'm going to disprove he exists. That's n not how things get, that's not how you determine what's true mm, and what's that's false. That's a good point. Uh, Stephen, do you believe in Bigfoot? Do I believe in Bigfoot? Yeah. No, I don't. Why, why don't you believe in Bigfoot? Well, I think one of the reasons is, is because, to me, it's just an illogical uh, uh, situation. Right? Great. Now, I'm glad you said that. That's an illogical assumption on our part that, that something like that would exist without evidence. Am I correct? No, I think Bigfoot is just a matter of... Uh, of a, a fantasy story that right, we right. No, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, you're probably repeat. within this uh, uh, century. Yeah, you, the thing about Bigfoot about is there's nothing the necessarily you yourself. Uh, 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 no, I get. I get and, and give us the reason. Let me stop but you big, there. But Bigfoot, Pat, is at least intellectually conceivable. I mean, there's nothing sure. illogical about Bigfoot. There's just no evidence for it. Sure. There's no evidence for God, and the concept itself is inherently illogical. So I would rather put my faith or my belief in something that isn't by its very nature opposed to all that I know. Right, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put any faith in Bigfoot at all because there's no evidence to support it. My my, my this is what I'm driving at. Why do you not believe prove to me that Bigfoot does not exist? You see cuz what we're getting into here is the shift, shifting I, I can't. Right, because we're getting into oh, the shift. If I can't, then you can't. No, 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 because that's not how it works. We're getting into the shifting of the well, burden of proof. Well, he's right. We can't prove Bigfoot doesn't exist. It doesn't matter. But he's ready to not believe in Bigfoot despite that inability. So it, why, why is he so ready to believe I'm, I'm, in God? I, I'm just showing him the point here. Um, what we got into here is the shifting of the burning of proof, burden of proof. You're claiming it's our job to disprove God when that's asinine. And what we're saying to you is... It's not your job to disprove that Bigfoot exists, so we're both in the same boat. So now we're left with, what's the, what, how do you judge what's right from wrong? Uh, or sorry, not right from wrong, but what's believable and what's not? So for you, how do you know God exists besides saying, how do you know he's not? Because that's not an answer. Oh, I think that the, the issue is faith, isn't it? Well, faith is believing without a reason. Big, so Bigfoot you, believers have their faith too, though. Yeah. I, 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 well, I, I, I fail to see what you're saying there. But I don't know that there's actually a society of Bigfoot believers. But sure, there, there sure believers, is. Yes. There, that, there's UFOs, entire... psychics, uh, not to mention believers in competing religions, which I'm guessing you, you reject those as well. Uh, yeah. I think every uh, religion probably has a common cause uh, as far as issues go. No, they do, don't. Do you believe in the divinity of Jesus Christ? Yeah, I do, and, uh, and, I, and I don't know why you um, have to attempt, and it'll only be an attempt because you're not going to change people's minds, um, on attempting to disprove it, or, or at least... But that's not, that's not the point of the way. show. Yeah, I think we're we've not misunderstood why we're doing this. We're not trying to change people's po points, uh, points of view. This is, a, this is a show where, where it, we, we promote skepticism and, and, and analytical thinking and things like that. You can see half of me. Hello, Kevin. Hi. So, what's up? What are you up to these days? Um, up tell to? us a bit about the videos that you've been making to open a dialogue on the issue of 
publicly funded Catholic schools in Ontario, and specifically why this is a big issue right now. Yeah, and it seems to be getting um, bigger even today. Um, there's, it's spread even to Australia, talking about the, the Gay Straight Alliance issue in the Catholic School Board in Ontario. What's the Gay Straight Alliance? Um, well, it's, it's not really happening. Um, I guess it's back in January that the Catholic School Board in Halton Region um, voted against having um, gay and straight students having, um, after, after school, having like a get-together discuss um, their their issues between gays and straights and uh, bullying issues yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think that, right? that's one quick preamble that needs to be made. It was as a result of studies that show that the amount of bullying of gay and lesbian teens is staggeringly high, much higher than the, the average bullying rate, as bad as that is, of course. As a result of that, the Ministry of Education in Ontario mandated as part of their equity policy mm -hmm. that any students that want to start a GSA, a gay-straight alliance, be given that permission to do so. Right. We're talking about students voluntarily saying, hey, I want a student club that talks about being gay. I mean, there are student clubs that talk about being Christian. There are Christian student clubs. I know yep. there were those in my high school yep. yeah. in Richmond Hill. And there are student clubs for astronomy and for science and for philosophy. Why can't there be a gay club? Well, the publicly funded, all of you in Ontario pay for these mm -hmm. schools. The school board, the Catholic school boards decided that it wasn't Catholic to have gay straight alliances. In fact, the chair of the Halton District School Board said, well, we don't have neo-Nazi campus clubs either. Yeah. In other words, we don't have anything that violates Catholicism, and they lumped neo-Nazism in with, um, with gay student clubs. Yeah. So pretty just, appalling. Just a brutal equivocation. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when it went kind of viral. Even yeah. uh, Was it Perez Hilton or one of them started tweeting about it? Um, so uh, Andrea Houston from Extra Magazine really broke the story, and she's been following very closely. And... Uh, and you've been v taping some interviews. I've been yeah. involved in some of them as well with people yeah. like Andrea Houston. We went to Extra Magazine, and you interviewed uh, her about the um, the issue because um, because there's such a public outcry about banning gay straight alliances (GSAs). Um, the board decided that they would uh, vote to have them, um, but there still is no GSAs, gay straight alliances, in any Catholic school in Ontario. They What's, call them social equity groups. Yeah. So you can, it's sort of a blend of um, any kind of issue that teens may have. What's maddening, really, I think, is the way in which they, they um, go to the bishops for rulings on what's allowed and disallowed in Catholic schools. So, yeah. so Catholic schools, which, which you and I pay for, right? Yeah. Half a billion are, a year. The bishops are yeah. actually the ones who make the, the call on uh, what's, what's Catholic enough to be allowed Yeah, and in, who are in, they? In they're, they're behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of the teachers are, I think, for the, uh, the Gay Straight Alliances. Some of them are. Uh, the principals aren't so much. It happened, I think, just yesterday at the St. Joe's um, Catholic School in Mississauga yep. where the principal said no. And there's a bunch of students that are getting very um, active um, and they want to have a Gay Straight Alliance at that school. Think Again TV is produced by... Centre for Inquiry, Canada's premier venue for secular humanists, atheists, skeptics, and free thinkers. CFI Canada coordinates branches and campus groups across the country, runs a public education series, provides secular community services, incorporates cutting-edge multimedia such as blogs, podcasts, and YouTube, and is a regular voice in the press presenting a secular humanist, atheist, and skeptical perspective.